good day for you when uh, you found out about the scholarship. Take us through that uh, moment that day. Yeah, I just um, had a meeting with Coach Caffrey like every player does um, you know, at the end of the season to talk about you know, how the season went and going forward for next season. And obviously, just a great day for me personally and also for my family as well. And you know, just one of the better days I've had, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure telling them, hey, I got a scholarship, that saves them a significant amount of money. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and there's a level of prestige, too, uh, to get a scholarship. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, achieving a scholarship was a goal of mine since I walked on here. I knew um, whether it would be, you know, this year, maybe years down the road, that was something that I wanted to accomplish. And, um, you know, proud of myself for achieving that goal. And thank you for Coach McCaffrey for having come to me. And thank you for my teammates to um, push me and get me better. How'd you find out about it? Did Coach call you? Uh, no, I had a meeting with Coach McCaffrey. Um, it's like a postseason meeting, and um, yeah, it just went, it went really well. And he just told me then, and we talked about uh, my performance uh, this year and going forward for next year as well. Who was your first call to when you walked out? Oh, my meeting? mom, absolutely. What'd she do? Um, uh, she cried. She did a little bit, but um, you know that's to be expected. Um, you know, I love my mom, and you know she's the uh, most important person in my life, and someone I'm always going to with that first call. Two years into this, are you? Do you expect to be on a scholarship? Did you put a timetable out, goal-wise? I never really did put a timetable. I know I just wanted to achieve it before I graduated, and um, yes, I did that. And uh, I think my performance this year, um, like Coach Kerry said, I earned a scholarship. He's not giving me one. I did earn it, and um, you know, just thankful for everybody that supported me this year. Where do you go from here? Like, you walked onto this great Big Ten program. You got a scholarship. Like, what's your next goal? Yeah, just to keep developing my skills and also develop um, some of the new youth that's coming in. Um, you know, we did lose a lot of seniors this year, but we do have some new blood coming in, and we're excited about that. And um, you know, just trying to get better individually, but also collectively as a team. What about weight gain? Isn't that kind of the next step for you, at, you know, growing as a player? Yeah, I think there's a couple of facets of my game that I need to improve, um, and adding more strength is definitely one. I think um, ball handling as well, and just becoming a more sound all-around offensive player. And you know, those are things I'm working on the offseason, and that the coaches will help me with as well. Fran said something at the end of the year, the Villanova game, I think. He said, you're 15 pounds from being maybe an all-Big Ten player. What does that what does that mean to you when he says that? Yeah, I think um, that's Coach McCaffrey showing another example of his confidence in his players. And I think that's one of the things that all players are really respectful of Coach McCaffrey is that he does instill confidence in us. And um, I know that if I can put on those 15 pounds, it'll give me you know a different dimension to my game that I can you know be more physical and um, elevate my game. How hard would that be for you uh, to, to add weight? Yeah, I think, I mean, I've struggled with it a little bit in the past, but I think it's something that I can't overcome. Um, I have, you know, full support uh, with Coach Maxwell. I'm our lifting coach. I know he'll, he'll whip me into shape and he'll do everything he can, but um, it's, on, it's on me for the most part, you know, making sure that my diet's right and uh, doing everything I can to put on those pounds. You talked about the same situation. I mean, he's a little taller than you, but when he was in high school, he was a stick, and eventually he was able to fill out. Yeah, I think some guys are just late bloomers, and and, you know, you can't, sometimes you know, you can do all you can to try to put weight on, but it's just not coming. And, you know, one day or one summer, you know, it finally clicks for your body and, um, you know, you put on the weight that you've always wanted to put on. So hopefully for me, that's the summer. Anything in particular you'll look forward to, like, grubbing on? Uh, just a lot of protein, a lot of steaks, hopefully. Um, but, you know, I just, I know what I need to eat, you know, and packing peanut butter sandwiches in between class. So just trying to keep, get a, you know, good, good sound balanced diet. Where are you at? Where do you need to get?